My name is Otev Lawrence and I'm from Grosile, St. Lucia. I have been playing football for I don't know how many years, but I can say for quite some time, probably 2003, 2004, that I played a competitive match. Yeah, because I started at the grassroots with Miss Jennifer at a program and I used to play under 10s and under 13s so it was a long time, I don't know how many years, I can't count but yeah. Um, I love everything about football but um, football is a competitive sport and I love winning most. The experience in playing training that, it's been good. I must say, I learned a lot. Um, playing with the guys I played with, some national, well, Trinidad and Tobago national guys, played abroad in Europe and I learned a lot from them. So it's been good and I can't really complain yet. It's a lot of ups and downs, but I can't complain. Um, I appreciate the opportunity and I cherish it a lot. But the experience has been good. The guys, the players, everybody. I felt good. I felt valuable and important. And um, well, it was. It started at the age of 16 after I played and won the blackout competition in Brazil. It was my first ever blackout competition at the age of 16, and that was. And I was able to help Brazil win the Black Art competition at the age of 16 I played a valuable role in that in that championship so um, after the championship then I ended up getting a call and then they said they wanted me to go abroad and play in Trinidad that was in 2013 and um, the connections and everything I went away for about three months I went on the chairs and then I was supposed to go work in 2014 because I finished like October, I went up in October and I came back to St. Lucia in December. But I was supposed to go back in January, but things didn't go as planned. So I ended up staying in St. Lucia the whole of 2014 and half of 2015, you can see. And after I played the Super League competition, the first ever Super League competition, I was 18 at that time, at the age of 18. And Grozile won the first ever Super League competition, Vision Super League in St. Lucia and I saw the coach from Trinidad and then that's how I ended up linking him back and I felt I felt good and important and I felt like yeah I could do something and get something out of football I'm a stopper, a centre back, a defender well it's nothing compared to what the pro or semi-pro league in Trinidad the level for sure is below but it's okay but I believe that the whoever is in charge, the organizers, the FA I think they, if they give a little more effort I think the football will be better than how it is right now but um, watching the players and we have a lot of talent for me it's not the players really but it's just the Whoever is in charge, I'll have to put the effort and to get the guys and them serious. You understand? And I believe the football could go on a rise. Because it's not the players, and we have a lot of talent. My family, my mom, that was, well, that's what keep, keeps me going. And um, yeah, and for myself, I, I, I want to do better every day that I live, so yeah, that's what keeps me going, especially my mom. Ma, if you're watching that, just know that I love you, okay? That's for you. Well, the next step for me, well, it's always, as I said, is to be better every day, every day that I come out on the field, come out and train, whether I here or I'm training that, I try to do my best. And Anything, I believe anything is possible. I believe in God and I believe anything is possible. So whatever comes my way that's better than what I have and it's positive, I believe I can take it. Stay in school, 
important. Get a good education and um, listen to your elders. Grozile, listen to your elders. If you're from Grozile, you know why I say that. Listen to your elders and um, whatever your passion is, whatever you want to do in life, I believe, well, you have to believe in yourself. You first have to believe in yourself and it's, it's possible. Don't make anybody let you know or tell you that it's not possible. Anything is possible. And that's, and that's one of the things that keeps me going too. Because I want to be there and make it so they themselves could look up and say, okay, or I could be an example to them and say, I, if I did it, you can do it too. So that's why, that's one of the things that keeps me going too. So young people, grossly, or even out of grossly, wherever you are, Whatever your passion is, whatever you're interested in, you understand? believe in yourself that you could make it happen. Anything is possible. So just trust and put your trust in God. Young people, put your trust in God. I believe in God, I trust God.